Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys, we're going to be jumping down into the world of Cardano Zeta, taking a look at what's been going on most recently and what we would expect to happen next. As I get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tapping the bell, selecting all the notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Okay, let's... um. Let's make a start with this. Cardano's ADA paired up with USDT on the hourly chart. Binance is the data source. Now, I zoomed out just a fraction here to show you all these yellow boxes. These are yellow boxes of areas of interest, okay? Um, so down here, they had this really big yellow box, okay? This is actually a C wave area. And if I zoom out, this is actually a, an interesting area between uh, 34 cent and the low area down here at 28 cent. This is some area that we've been kind of mapping out for a while as a, an interest of dollar cost averaging all around here it seems to make a lot of sense. We then actually have a small yellow box area here. This was our sniper entry on a swing trade to the upside. And uh, we got a real good tight stop loss and some really fantastic gains trading from here. You can also see there's a bigger yellow box area and then a smaller yellow box just inside here as well. What we're doing with these is we're finessing the internal structure of this fifth wave, which looks to me like an ending diagonal structure, which I'm going to go through in a moment. Okay, and it looks like we're going to come down here between 27 and 28 cent okay so this seems to be the area that we're next going to see a pretty significant move to the upside okay so this is the area that's uh, of focus for me okay now as we kind of come down a little bit lower we end up with this yellow box area down here this one is ranging between 22.87 and a slightly lower at 19.66 this is where I think the actual end of a bear market is likely to be for Cardano's ADA. Um, and this is a part of a much bigger structure which ends on the Y wave uh, on the daily chart. Okay, so it gives us an idea that there's a lot of different things going on. There's finessing around here, and there's also potentially finessing down here as well to be done later. Um, but for now, this is the area that's a focus because this is the immediate kind of next pullback that might mean that we see a significant rise in Cardano afterwards before we potentially come down here any further okay so it'll be interesting to kind of see this is going to be really cool to kind of see some dollar cost averaging around these kind of areas trying to snipe out those bottoms and all that kind of wonderful stuff so let's go ahead and expand this up a fraction and start talking about that uh, ending diagonal structure because an ending diagonal structure let me just draw it out for you guys is basically wave one wave two wave three wave four wave five okay now each of these um, there's, a, there's a few rules to this, right? Wave two cannot retrace more than 100% of wave one, so we can't go higher than this area. Uh, wave three is going to be the longest wave. Um, uh, sorry, it cannot be the shortest wave in 1.618 times that of wave one. Um, but, you know, obviously, wave five can be longer than wave three. Uh, wave four will cross, uh, typically cross wave one. Doesn't have to, but can, and it's allowed to, unlike an impulsive five wave structure. Um, so those two things do normally intersect. And then wave five comes down 1.236 to 1.618 times wave four. So knowing that, uh, the internal wave counts must be three waves, one, two, and three. Uh, and then up in three waves, one, two, and three. And then down in three waves, one, two, and three or A, B, and C, I should say, uh, A, B, and C. And then finally, you have A, B, and C. So if I remove the five-wave structure, what you end up with is this, A, B, C down, A, B, C up, A, B, C down, A, B, C up, A, B, C down, right? Um, and that is basically an ending diagonal. Uh, so let me go ahead and remove those and focus in on this area here. We have A, B, C down, A, B, C up, A, B, C down, A, B, C up. We're looking for the A, B, C down. That is a one, two, three, four, five okay and what we do see here is some interesting kind of structures so we want to make kind of see how this kind of plays out so let's uh, go ahead and take a look right so yesterday we saw a bit of a surge upwards we're just falling short of our target here at the 32.8 cent high point um so you're not the best but it's uh it's an interesting kind of level and um yeah, we'll keep an eye to see if this is reversal. It's potential reversal, but potentially we could still could hit that target on a slightly higher side. So it looks like we are it looks like we are potentially completing. It's just a really, really messy, choppy sideways trade. So if you take a look at this, you can see a lot of overlap, right? So if we try mapping it out, we can see a lot of counts in here. So we go here, here, here. Okay, and then we come down here. So one two and three like so uh, and then we're up here one 
two, potentially three. So it does look like potentially we are done uh, with a big A, B, and C structure like that. And um, just a bit difficult to be 100% certain on it. So it's going to be interesting to kind of see how this plays out. Uh, again, in here, um, we could just kind of work our way down in a very similar way, uh, very much an overlapping structure, because that's what these things are, right? They are either going to be zigzag patterns or strings of three wave patterns all put together again. Um, so zigzagging down is easier uh, or zigzagging up is easier to kind of see what than than these kind of movements where you have to kind of measure a lot of different kind of three wave structures. So looking at it, it does look like we're going to be coming down towards this low point. Uh, once again, I have this kind of scoped out uh, just in here. Um, and this one actually comes in, you know, between 27.7 and 28.8. Uh, so it'd be interesting to kind of see if we do manage to pull into that area. Now, our stochastic RSIs are low on the one hour chart, as in we're down in this oversold area. Not on the four hour yet, but on the eight and the daily, we're overbought. So there's definitely macro moves to the downside to be seen. But we're well positioned on the weekly chart. But we probably have a little while longer before we see that reversal, as in we need to see this structure to come down first. Now, if I come over to the four hour chart we've progressed a fair bit here and um, so we can continue to go down um or we can just bounce up a little bit so and uh, do expect some volatility when it comes to cardano's ada we were talking taking a look at this yesterday thinking it was a good shorting opportunity it does look like it is today um so kind of keep that an eye on like potential move to the downside here does look very very lucrative now if i come up into the daily and uh, just bring this back down you can kind of see uh or take take stock of the entire kind of structure here of where we're heading uh, on the kind of bigger macro kind of scale of things. So everything's looking pretty good for Cardano. And um, I think, you know, for most everyday people, dollar cost averaging, anything below 30 cent is is a pretty good deal, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, we still have the potential to slip down lower, but dollar cost averaging uh, is a pretty good strategy for retail investors to uh, kind of enter into the space nice and slowly, kind of building up their positions uh, without doing too much. So I think I'm going to leave this video right there, guys, just to give you a brief idea as to kind of where I think things are going. If you have found it useful and informative, hit the like button. I do appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, tap the bell, select all the notifications. And in doing so, you won't miss another video update. Don't forget to join us down in Discord. Links in the description below. Until the next one, have a fantastic day.